Hello everybody, December has started. It's time to start solving the advent of code puzzlers. And on this channel, of course, we are going to try to solve them in Kotlin. So what do we have for the first challenge? Uh, we are in a submarine and we are automatically performing the uh, measurements of the seafloor and uh, the input that we have, uh, each line in that input is a number that represents the measurement uh, of a seafloor depth. All right, and what we have to uh, calculate, we have to count the times a depth me measurement has increased. So uh, in the sample input that we have, uh, we have to compare each next number to the previous one. Uh, and if it's greater, we have to count it in. So for the sample input of 10 lines, we have to count seven cases where the measurement has increased. So basically one number is larger than the previous one. So let's write some code and see if we can get the same uh, answer for the sample input. It's much easier to get started if you have a sample project and we prepare the template for you. So don't fork the project, just uh, click this use as template uh, button and uh, it will create a repository for you under your account. Read the repository. The project is now generated under my account and I will use this project to publish my solution. So now I need to clone it and open in the ID and start writing the code. So I have cloned the project and uh, the template provides me with some helper functions like read, read input, for instance, reads all the lines from the uh, file, from the input file. And the input file is right here. I have this sample input uh, copied from the website and now we can write some code uh, but this helper function returns the list of strings and i need the list of integers so i rather create another function for myself uh, read input as ints and then map the result into integers so it to int so i'm going to use this new function instead and i will correct the signatures as well so the uh, so the functions accept list of integers and now I just need to work with the numbers. I need to compare uh, each number to the previous one, meaning that I will have to compare the second to the first, the third to the second, the uh, fourth to the third, and so on. So what I need is to use a window function to read the numbers by pairs. And now I need to count those cases where uh, the second number is greater. The first number is A and the second one is B and uh, I need to validate if B is greater than A. Right, let's see if it works. So the answer should be seven. Cool, it seems to be correct. So the number of lines in the file is 10 and the number of cases where the second number is greater than the first one is seven. Uh, so let's get the real input and validate if uh, our solution is actually correct. Get the puzzle input, copy and paste it to the file and then run the program again so the answer is 1390 and let's validate if it's correct submit that's the right answer cool we can continue to the second part so in the second part we are working with a three measurement sliding window so with the same example we have to read a b c 
calculate the total, then read B, C, D, calculate the total, and then we compare the sums. So the number of times the sum of measurements in the sliding window increases. So for the same sample input, it would be five instead of seven. So let's try with the sample input first. So the sliding window is three. So we get triples and we need to compare the sum of the first triple to the second one. So we need to group by two triples. And now we need to use the sum and count function. Uh, so we can use the count, I guess. So the same way we can use A and B to uh, declare the variables and those will be the list of integers and we need to calculate the sum for each sum and compare to the second sum. So this should give me five as an answer. Let's run with the sample input. Nice, it looks, it looks correct. Let's validate with uh, real input. So we get the input from the website, copy it to the file, run the application and get the answer. Let's verify if we uh, calculated everything correctly. Submit. And the answer is correct. So nice. But let's look at our solution here. This windowed function, the way we used it, uh, doesn't make the code really readable, I think. Uh, it's very hard to imagine data structure. Let's think a little bit about the task itself, how, uh, how we actually compare the triples. So if uh, we compare A plus B plus C to B plus C plus D, we can actually subtract B and C from the both sides and all we need is to compare A and D, which means we could read in four numbers instead of three and then we would need to compare the first number and the last one like this and this looks much more readable if we take this condition into account that we apply some thinking uh, onto the problem and subtract uh, b and c from you know from the equation here let's verify if we can get the same answer one four five seven Run. One, four, five, seven is the same answer. So it seems to be correct. So day one challenge was quite simple and fun. Me and my colleagues are going to follow the next challenges of Advent of Code and publish more solutions to the channel. So subscribe to our channel not to miss the next solutions. I hope you will have fun with Advent of Code this year and uh, have a nice Kotlin.